Alabama has become the first state in the nation to execute an inmate with nitrogen gas. According to witnesses, convicted murderer Kenny Eugene Smith as sh shook and convulsed on the gurney as the first of his kind execution was carried out. WDHN state capital reporter Matty Beer Temple is in Montgomery with what Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall had to say. While media witnesses last night described minutes of Smith convulsing, followed by heavy breathing, Marshall says what happened was textbook and completely expected. The state has previously said Smith could go unconscious in a matter of seconds, but it's not clear when that happened. Marshall said he could not say when the nitrogen began flowing or when Smith's EKG flatlined. He said that would be something the ADOC would have to answer. Marshall took time to apologize to the family of the murder victim, Elizabeth Senate, for the three and a half decades it took for this execution to be carried out and for how brutal her death was. Cannot lose sight of the fact that a woman was brutally murdered taken from her family. And that's the reason why the state of Alabama had to act last night. Let's remember her legacy and her life as much as we remember the person who took her away from us. Now, Marshall says 43 other Alabama death row inmates have chosen this method and he expects more will do so. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple.